Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hey, everybody. How you doing? How's everybody doing tonight? I'm filling up my e-juice bottle because I had forgotten to. I'm a couple of minutes late because I was trying to do something um, um, on the string and I couldn't get it to work. So it took me a second to figure it out. But I did. Could them smart. Not really. So we've got Teresa and Cheryl and Sandy and Kellyanne. And let's see who else is here. Um we got Sherry and we got and we got Shelly and we got Cheryl Johnson. I think I said that already. We got Angela and we got Ree and we got the other Cheryl and we got Danny K and we've got River and Jamie and Sandy and Robin and Tania and Susan and Casey and Carrie Ann. I don't know why I was saying Casey. <laughs> um, and Janie and Satu. And is that about it so far? Oh wait, Lori and Teresa, the other Teresa and oh, I missed somebody up there. Who did I just miss? Shannon, I think I said that already, and Jamie and Rose and Carrie and Luana and Ree, the other Ree and Debbie R and Kitty Crow, and Sherry Fish, and Sandy, and Lorena, I think I said that, and Rose, and Sharon. <laughs> I'm repeating myself because that's how bad my memory is. I don't remember if I said something <laughs> two seconds prior. Mm. So, I got a couple things to show you real quick. I got happy mail from Miss, um, hi Kathleen, and, and, and Mary, and Marina, and and Michelle um anyway miss karen gave me sent me some awesome distress ink and there was two packages so in an upcoming hoo ha i'm going to do a giveaway with this package here because there was two for some reason she didn't even realize they were going to send two but they sent two i said do you want me to send it back to you she said no so i'm going to do it use it as a giveaway piece so that'll be in an upcoming either mixed media mashup or Maybe in the Patreon group or maybe in the main group. I don't know yet. And then Miss Cheryl Hill, who's here, sent me a letter or something. I don't know if it's a letter, but it's a something. And so I'm going to open that. Oh, <gasps> look at that. It's got all kinds of stickers with stars. I have a feeling I know who this is from. Oh, Miss Allie sent me a card. It's so cute. Thank you, Allie. Big hugs, big hugs to you. Cheryl, give her big hugs from me. I'm going to put this on my refrigerator, actually, with a magnet. I love it. That's so cute. I had sent stuff to Allie in the mail. So she sent me a nice thank you card. And then another happy mail I got today is from, um, is from Miss Sandy. I ripped the little thingy. They're always so much fun to me, these little pull tabs. I don't know why I get such entertainment out of them, but I ripped it. And then at first I didn't know what it was. I didn't pay attention to the front of it. I just thought it was like something I ordered for my Etsy or whatever. Then I realized it had tissue paper and I was like, oh, okay, that's got to be a happy mail or something. Then I looked at the front and realized who it was from. And that would be how that went. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. I appreciate it. Yeah, we got the prompts up just a little bit late from last week. 
I apologize. I wasn't, I, I actually, for some reason I thought they were up. I don't know whether I thought I did it or maybe I thought Sharon did it. I don't know. But my brain had a fart and I was like, oh no, they didn't go up yet. But I did update. All the cards are updated into one file with the, well, it's two files if you're going into the Word document. Like if you go in the file section and you'll see mixed media mashup where if you click on it, It'll just open up and you can cut and paste the whole thing into a Word document or whatever kind of thing you have on your computer where you, you can even cut and paste it into a blank email and then print it out and you'll have all the words and you can make your own cards or you can download the Word document and there's two Word documents for, for the cards. There's the instructions on how to play the actual game because Mixed Media Mashup, it's an actual game that I made up. It's kind of like you could play it alone or with two or three people. And so it's an actual game that you could play by yourself. So you don't have to just do it on Wednesdays with us or whatever. You could do it. You can have your own set of cards and actually play the game. And it's kind of fun because it gives you something like if you're feeling, you know, uninspired and you want something to do creative, but you just don't know where to start, you could play that game. So it's a lot of fun. You should try it. Just read through the instructions on how to play it. <gasps> what in the world is this? Oh my goodness, look how pretty. Oh, I love it. Do you know where I'm going to put this? I'm going to put this in my new Etsy room. I'm taking my guest room and I'm turning it into my Etsy room. I'm getting some furniture in there. I'm, I got a desk to put in there already. And I'm turning it into an Etsy room so that I can use that room to pack my orders in. Um, glue stick or glue string. Um, because thank you so much, Sandy. This is amazing. So I want to hang this in the wall on the wall in there. Make this like the first thing I hang up because I'm gonna use the walls to like hang a lot of artwork on. Because I've I've run out of wall space in here. I have nowhere to put anything. Um, you're gonna hear the dogs. So in there, I'm not gonna have a lot of things on the walls as much as I will here in here as much as I do in here because it's not a craft room. It's an Etsy room, and I'm gonna have a desk in there. And I'm going to get my laptop fixed, my old laptop. I'm going to get it fixed enough just to be able to, like, you know, use it to look at my Etsy orders and stuff like that. I'm not, like, it's not, it's a, still a crappy laptop, but it'll work. I'm going to have it fixed just enough to do that. But thank you so much. This is so adorable. I love it. So cute. I can't wait. Her name is Alice. That's the name. She named her doll Alice. How cute. And I think this little gem fell off and I'm going to fix it right now. I just noticed it. And then I noticed a spot on here where it looks like there was some glue. Miss Alice lost one of her little flower gems. You can hear the girls playing. They're in the same playpen today because they were out all day and then they were still wanting to play when I got, when I needed to put them away. So I just said, well, I'll just put them together. So anyway, so cute. I love it. All right. And I'm going to keep this, of course. Um, yeah, so I'm in the process of getting more stuff to stock my Etsy store. There's going to be a lot more things going in my Etsy. Um, I got some more stencils in. Um, but I just placed an order for loads of stamps and stencils, um, and some dyes and stuff. So I got this stencil in, which I love, 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 love. This one is so cool. It's got like a whole flower scene here. It's got like a little bit of like a lattice -y type of thing that you can just kind of use for mixed media. You know, any of this you can use for mixed media. It's got this leaf design with some like things hanging. I love this one. This one's so pretty. Love that. So that's that one. And then there is this one. And this one says, one day I just sat here and I felt peaceful. It was a, it was quite a peaceful afternoon. And it's like a little sentiment with a little birdie. And then it's really pretty like little flowers and what's cool about these flowers you can use them like this or you can use them as like hanging kind of like hanging vine flowers 
love those. I think that's it in this package. Yeah. Um, and I've got more coming, so I'll get these up this week. Um, I've been working my butt off. I've got more things to list. I just haven't had a chance to do it yet because I've been, well, this weekend I didn't get anything done because I was having a playtime this weekend. Hi, Angel. Oh, God. Sorry about your roommate. It's okay. I understand, girl. Do what you got to do. We'll always be here, so. <laughs> Good night, Rose. Hi, Vicky. And hi, Joy. And if I owe you a prize, I'm still working on getting them out. I haven't had two seconds to breathe to get things out. So I'm going to be working on that. Um, later tonight through this morning after I'm going to do this live stream, obviously, like we always do. And then afterwards, I'm going to close it and then open a new live stream for a while. But then after that, um, well, I don't know if I'll actually be up very late tonight, so I'll probably have to do them in the morning, but I got to pack all the different prizes and stuff. So I don't know how late I'll be able to stay up because I forgot I got up fairly early this morning. Not early. Oh, I got up at like 1030, but I'd only gotten five hours sleep because the freaking dogs wouldn't stop barking. So, yeah, not fun. Hi, New York Freestyle Nails and Glitz. How are you? Hi, Miss Casey. Hi, Pauline. Hi, Angie and Erin and Brandy. Um, also, I got some things at Michael's this weekend when we were when I was with Miss Katie. Miss Katie and her and her girlfriend and we went to lunch at a really nice place that was so yummy. And then we went to Michael's. We well, went to Tuesday morning in Michael's. And I got these guys. More paper dolls. Because I love these. And yeah. And I think these are the newer ones, right? I believe. Because some of these look different. So I think those are like the newer ones. And then I got this on clearance for like... I don't know, it was like, where's the clearance sticker? Oh, it's on one of the other ones. Here it is. They were $1.49. $1.49, and they're like little tassels. I think I got three of them. Yeah, here's a teal. Cute. I missed you too, Carrie. I got some more of these because I used the crap out of these. Ooh, and you know what I'm going to have in my store? I'm going to have daubers, like the finger daubers. I'm going to have those in my store in the next coming months. I'm just waiting for them to come in. But these, I go through these. I love these for my inks. Let's see. This was on clearance, too. It was like, I think it was like $1.99. Um, but I like this seahorse and it has like different sea things for like a mermaid scene. And I can use it with my plaster, which I love using plaster and stuff like this. Or I can use hot glue and make hot glue because they're, they're kind of shallow. So they're good for like a hot glue mold if you just want to do something quick. Um, okay. Then this was at Tuesday morning. And like, hello, duh, mermaid, unicorn, rainbow. I'm not into crowns that much, but I like crowns, you know. But I just mostly got it for these three. This is a Tuesday morning. Stickers. They had these at Tuesday morning. And I really like these. I mean, they're just, they're, I mean, it's just like, um, what do you call it? Cardstock, you know, colored cardstock. But I like that it's kind of got a pattern on it or like texture to it. I don't know if it's, the camera's probably not going to pick it up very well. But anyway, they all got like this texture to it. And I really like that kind. And I got my Cricut working. I got blades and mats for my Cricut. So I can use my Cricut. I already been using it like crazy. And after we do mix media mashup, the after stream that I do, if I'm not too tired, I'm gonna play with some of the things I cut out. Look at these little flowers were like a dollar fifty. And I 
got this pad at Tuesday morning and it's all glitter. I can use this in my, I thought my Cricut. I could probably cut some fun things out. These pens were at, for $3.99 at Tuesday morning. And they're supposed to be like those fine tipped pens. I want to try those out. And then a couple other things. I got this, which is like a 4th of July kit. I thought it was so cute. It had like little 4th of July papers, which, you know, obviously July is not that far away. So, and I love doing like a July, 4th of July thing. So I thought they would be cute to have. And then these were on clearance again. Um starfish seahorses and shells and then these these are four feathers metal feathers for 99 cents so yeah and then i also got some paper but i had already put that away because it was kind of in my way so i got some paper that was 70 percent off scrapbook paper at michael's so they were like four dollars for a paper pad so yeah i grabbed a couple of those so that's it that was so much fun to go shopping and have a good day like that haven't done that in four freaking ever. I haven't been in a Michaels in, what, two years? All right, something's wrong with my camera. I can't keep an eye on the girls if it ain't gonna work. Let me make sure. Well, let me run out real quick and just see if that camera's still working. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, sorry everyone, I had to deal with that real quick. 
because if I don't keep an eye on them, I'm liable to have a disaster when I go out there and ain't nobody want that. Hmm. Okay, we're good. We can keep an eye on the mischievous ladies. Can you see them? Well, you can see one of them. See, Willow is over here, right here. She's eating her bully stick and there's Winnie. So that's what they're doing. Got to keep an eye on them. So, um, no, we haven't started yet. We're about to start right now. So for mixed media mashup this week. So, uh, probably three or four, you'll be in Tennessee on June 4th. So 17th, I hope we get to meet you. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll go to the creative reuse. Um, so anyway, uh, I was sent by Miss Shannon Green one of these amazing little custom keepers. Um, you know, they're basically they're fused vinyl. I'm sure you guys know who Shannon Green is. And she sent me this fused vinyl thing months back. And I was perplexed on what to do with it because... I like in my head, I guess, I don't know, but I thought I heard her say that it doesn't take paint very well or something. And so the whole time I was like, oh, okay, well, if it doesn't take paint, what else can I do? And so I was racking my brain on something unique to do with it because I thought it didn't take paint very well. So I kept thinking and thinking, and then I was like, oh, I, you know, those, those Brutus Monroe sprays. And then I had seen how expensive they were and I never got them. And then I had gotten them in a happy, got a few of them in a happy mail. And then right after, like literally right before that, um, Shannon had used them herself on one. So I was like, okay, well that's already been done. So what else can I find to do with it? And I couldn't, and, and it's just, it sat and sat and I was like, well, what do I do with it? And I kind of, I kind of dig the design that's on here. Um, they're like from TV shows and stuff. Like they're big billboards that are from like TV shows that she gets and takes and then she fuses them. I don't know what that means other than like something to do with heating them. I don't know, but they're really cool. And they're like, and she sent me an ATC that she gave me. Um, and it has instructions on how to string it because of course it's not strung when you get it. So it's kind of, it's like, you see how it's, so that in case you want to paint it or something, you don't have the strings in your way. So, um, I finally was like, I finally had said to her that I had messaged her and said, you know, I've been racking my brain what to do with it because, you know, I think, you know, you said something about it not taking paint very well. And she was like, no, it takes paint. And I'm like, or I saw in a video, oh no, no, no. I saw somebody in a video using paint on it and being like, you know, painting it all up. And I was like, I thought it didn't, I thought you couldn't use paint on it. And I saw like more than one person using paint on it. And I was like, I asked her, I'm like, uh, you know, about it. And she said, now yeah, you can use paint on it. You know, it's fine. I was like, oh, all this time I could have used it and painted on it, but didn't because I thought you weren't supposed to use. Well, I mean, I knew you could use paint on it, but I thought it would peel off. At least that was for some reason what I had in my brain from watching one of Shannon videos. I don't know. I probably wasn't paying attention. So I'm going to use this for a mixed media mashup tonight. I'm going to be doing my mixed media mashup on the cover of this. But aside from that, and if you don't mind the dogs barking, I can't help that. She sent me a goodie package of stuff to play with. A smaller one, which actually this one might be good for mixed media mashup because it's so blank. I might use this one but she sent me a goodie pack and the link if you want to buy one of these I'm gonna put the link in here you can go buy one off of her Etsy and even if you don't want one of these particularly she's got other things on her Etsy that might interest you so there's a link to her Etsy it's also below this live stream and she even has little business cards made using the fused vinyl as the business card isn't that isn't that like genius such a cool idea so then we've got some she sent me some extra fused vinyl and i guess i understand now because this is like two pieces i see what she does she takes two pieces and and kind of fuses it with like heat i know she uses like a big 
iron, like a big thing. I don't know what the hell it's called, a press and or something like that. Um, but anyway, so she gave me this where I can cut it into a journal or cut it into ATCs or do whatever I want with it. And then she even gave me a big one. Isn't that cool? And so I can make all kinds of fun stuff with this. And then she also gave me whatever is in this little package, which I think she said she was sending me ATCs. Oh, they're here. So we've got these to play with. Doesn't that look cool for mixed media mashup? Ooh, look at all these ATCs. So I'm going to probably do an upcoming video where I play with these specifically. Um, so look for that because I did the plastic ATCs using acetate and whatnot. So now I'll do some vinyl ATCs and mess around with this because, and she sells these as well in her Etsy store, or you can buy like a random piece like this and cut it up into postcard size, you know, sky's the limit. You know, you can paint over it. So I would definitely check out her Etsy. In fact, um, let's go look at it together real quick to see what she's got going on. Um, here's her Etsy. And as you can see, she's got, look, a half pound of, of unfused vinyl. So she's got like where they're unfused. Maybe that's what this is. I'm not sure. This might be. I'm not sure um vinyl scraps um uh, scrap chunks of fused vinyl so i guess the unfused is a little thinner and the fused vinyl is thicker i don't know i don't know the difference i think and then she's got untrimmed vinyl okay that's what this must be this is like the untrimmed because you could tell the edge is like not you know completely fused so this is where you would trim it down to something um and then she's got like a tool, like a brush holder. And here's her passport size custom keepers. You know, and they're only $8.50, they're not very expensive. And then she's got like a big extra large one for $23. Um, she's got these here, regular travels notebook for 13. She had all kinds of things. So I'm interested in some of these scraps. I might snag some of these scraps because I think I would enjoy using those actually um but anyway so give that a look see and you might find something fun to play with mixed media wise i think that would be cool um hi elizabeth and then whatever's in here and i love that bag Ooh, it's a big ass bag. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> I said I was going to buy scraps. Well, that's what she sent me. <laughs> well, then, bam. I don't have to buy scraps. It's got like a fuzz in the middle. Oh, I see. Yeah, so the unfused is like a thinner. Oh, this is cool. I like this. So you can like, if you want to make it thicker, you can glue it to just some cardstock or something. Or you could fuse it together. If you have an iron and some parchment, you can take two pieces, you know, two like size pieces and fuse them together to make it thicker. I'd just use it like this. I don't care. I'd back it with some paper, especially if I was just going to do ATCs or something. But yeah, I love this. This is so cool. Ooh, fun to play with. Yeah, these are definitely fun to play with. Make ATCs, postcards, little art tiles, vinyl art tiles. Sky's the limit. Somebody's hair. Because these are all like TV show posters. That looks like a Target thing. So, very cool, very cool. So, if you're interested, definitely go get you some. I'm going to be having some fun with these. So I might play with the ATCs in one video and then play with these maybe. But I think Beaks Media Mashup on this one because I like that it's blank. See, the thing is, when I got this, I liked the way it looked without painting it. I thought this was really cool. You know, I don't care about the arm part as much because it looks like there's a bike in this one. I don't know what that's from. It might have been an advertisement or I don't know. But I kind of dig the fact that this is Orlando Bloom. It's 
so it must be something with him. I don't know. Anyway, I liked this kind of cover. I thought this was just a cool kind of grungy cover with some cool texture. So I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to cover it because it looks so cool. So now I don't have to. I can use this one. I'm not as fond of this one as I am of that one. So that's what we will do mixed media mashup on. And then I've got this whole piece that's similar to this, which I like. This would be great background for like steampunk, like a steampunk. Ooh, like a card. I can make a card out of this and glue it to like a, a you know, layered card. There's so many things I can do with it. So excited. And then this one here is one, an ATC she gave me to play with. So lots of fun things, lots of fun things to do. And then I got this huge bag with all this really pretty paper to play with as well. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do mixed media mashup on a piece of vinyl. Well, it's going to, it's really a journal. Um, fun, 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 fun. And then I've got these ATCs. I'll stick those there so I don't lose them. So what I'm going to do is pull out all the who's a what's it and she sends you a piece of paper so you'll have instructions exactly how to do it see she shows you which way to do it how to knot it but you can do it however you want honestly and then you would tie it when you're done so that you could fit all your inserts and to make the inserts that's easy maybe I'll do a video and show you how to make the inserts yes I did get my medicine couple days after all that incident okay so we'll keep those aside oh and I also got when I was at Michael's let me show you real quick these I still have right here these are going to go in my Etsy room for different Etsy um, products I got a couple of these because they were on sale dirt cheap so this is for like when I do my rhinestones, I can put them all in here and, you know, keep them neat and organized and easy to get to. Hi, Judy. Okay. So we're going to gesso it to start off with. And very soon, I got my, my jars, so very soon I will be listing gesso for sale. But keep in mind, the shipping is not going to be easy because, you know, shipping heavy jars of gesso, you know what I mean? Like, mm. but, you know, I'll have to see what the best way is to ship that. So, let's do some... I'm going to start out probably with white and clear gesso when I, you know, in my Etsy store and then move up to like texture paste and all of that good stuff. So we're going to gesso this and then I figure... We will do... Pick our cards, so... And also, if you... Oh, and I forgot the best part. I'm such a dumbass. Um, yeah, some of the gesso might beat up or whatever, but that's okay. Um, because it is vinyl, after all. But that's all right. Because once we get a good layer, layer of gesso on here, then none of our paint will beat up on it. Um, anyway, I almost forgot. So anybody that participates today in mixed media mashup while we are doing it right now and doesn't you know participates right now will be entered in a drawing to get your very own custom keeper shannon is going to send you one i'm going to put do a drawing of everybody who works on their mixed media mashup and you will be in a drawing for a custom keeper. And then of course we will do another drawing. And that will be for those who can't work on it right now, 
but we'll finish it by tomorrow at midnight. If you put, you know, obviously if you tag me and put, you know, mixed media mashup um, week, what is it, 54, then, you know, in the next 24. Oh, there's Shannon. Hello, Shannon. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a regular traveler's notebook size with the, hold on, I can show you. Let me get that picture she sent me. I got it. I got it in my messages. That's what I meant to do is show you that picture of exactly what you're going to be winning. Let's get it loaded. Come on. Okay. Oh, nice of you to disappear. That's what you will be winning is a custom keeper and I think it's cool with the black and white like that and it has a little tool holder see all this right here is where you can hold your tools so it's like a tool holder oh is it like oh no no you get the tool holder with it right is it two separate things or is it connected oh I think it's two separate things so you get a tool holder tool holder I can't speak and a custom keeper I think correct me if I'm wrong Shannon so that is badass no it doesn't have to be done on vinyl you do it just like you, you would normally you do you know just like normal you don't have to do it on vinyl just because i am you do it on your paper whatever you want as long as you do it with us tonight we're going to go nice and slow so that any first timers um won't get stuck behind i think we did pretty good yesterday uh yesterday no we didn't do this yesterday <laughs> last week wow i haven't created since saturday and i haven't sat here <laughs> since saturday i'm gonna let this dry and then i'm gonna recode it a little bit where it looks like it's you know where it uh bubbled up a little bit not bubbled up what do you call it you know what i mean that where it did that custom keeper and a tool holder insert okay gotcha yes i like the black and white it almost reminds me of like a cow print i kind of like that that's cool very cool so that's what you will win if you do your mixed media mashup and post pictures when we're done tonight and then i will go and get everybody's picture like we did last week and we will do a little drawing and that winner shannon will send you your custom keeper and then for the drawing for if you can't do it tonight or those who are want to watch the recording that i will actually give you you know what i'm going to give you I'm going to, those ATCs that I'm going to work on, the vinyl ones that she gave me, I will give you two of them that are completed and two of them that are blank. So that'll be for that drawing for anybody who can't finish it right now, but will work on it later, along with some other little, you know, little doodads and bits. So, so fun, fun, fun. Let me heat this a little bit. So if you are working with us tonight, you are going to want to probably gesso your page if you're just using like cardstock, chipboard, a piece of cereal box, something of that nature where it's kind of, you know, porous. Use some gesso this way, you know, it'll initially do its little bowing a little bit when you put the gesso on, then you dry it and it'll be straightened out and it's not going to bow anymore throughout putting all the layers on. So I would advise you to definitely gesso your page. Well, awesome, Amber. I hope you're going to do it with us tonight because it's so much fun.
Yeah, I'm noticing that it's taking longer than normal. But that's all right. It'll give everybody a chance to get their um, their page gessoed and everything they need out and situated. Is Miss Tammy here? She always she always likes it when we go a little slower. <laughs> so tonight she'd be in luck if she's here. She always fights with her gesso. <laughs> Either the gesso container or the gesso itself. All right, now I'm just gonna go over these spots which should take the gesso now. Um, because the surrounding areas are pretty done. Not that it really matters. I could probably get away with not doing it. But it's okay. Before we get started, started, I'm going to have to use the bathroom. Thanks to my Crohn's disease. Just loves to interrupt me when I'm busy. I can just tell I'm going to have to go. <laughs> Nature calls. So another good opportunity to get your gessoing done and dried. And go to the bathroom get your popcorn don't forget your chocolate you need your chocolate all right it did go over those spots well you can just see them because the gesso is thin but i went over them very well good good, good. I just did the whole thing i was only going to do that part but that's all right that's all right all right She's on a roll with her gesso, Miss Elizabeth. All right. Let me go run to the potty and I will be right back.
Okay, so sorry for that. I can't help it. I hope you guys are all caught up and ready to go. Because I'm ready to go. Well, not really. That's still drying. But anyway, while that's drying, I'm going to use the heat gun. You guys tell me what you did today. Anything interesting? Anything fun? Hi, Vera. I'm happy, Ray. Oh, really? It's your first time, Elizabeth? Awesome. You've been sick all day. Well, that's not fun. You got good deals at the craft store. What kind of stuff did you get, Teresa? Oh, you started on your mermaid uh, art journal. Yeah, we're in the in the group. We're doing a uh, an art journal page, or no, we're doing a challenge. I can't speak today. We're doing a challenge called mermaid instead of May. It's mermaid, like a mermaid for the month of May, and you're to do some various crafts that are mermaid related. So that's one of our challenges, and if you don't know where to find our challenges, in the group, if you look at the event section on the left side of the page, or if you're on a phone or a tablet, it'll be kind of near the top. You'll, If you like swipe over, like where it says photos and whatnot, you'll see where it says events. And anybody can join our our challenges they're not swaps but you are recommended to send out your challenges um, to somebody else in the group as like as like a rack but we call them poodle packages so you know they're not swaps though so you, you know the whole point is not to expect anything in return to just do it because you want to send somebody something so let's say you make a little mermaid card or mermaid atc you, you know you would send it to somebody else in the group i am feeling good with those stupid tubes out it makes much makes things much easier i'll tell you that <laughs> especially when i go to the bathroom damn it the stream keeps stopping Hold anyway hopefully that situates itself out anyway Ooh, Jane Davenport markers and a large art journal. Ooh, cool. It's a large art journal. Is that Jane Davenport too? Yeah, I just fixed it, hopefully. I, it's, I don't know what's going on. Should be good now. All right. Is everybody ready to pull cards? I know it's taken forever between happy mail and me having to run to the bathroom <laughs> and trying to get this dry, but we're finally ready to go. Oh, you got a delusion journal. Yeah, I have one of those too. I haven't even started in it yet. Hi, Sandy. You can't stay long. That's fine. All right, let's pick some cards. use blue and when i pick a card that says use blue you can use blue whatever you want you want to use blue paint you can use, use bl blue paint you can use any shade of blue you know if you like teal like in my case i like teal um you can use a couple different types of blue anything blue blue paper blue tape blue snot whatever you whatever floats your boat anything you want I've got, let's see, these are kind of all shades of blue, different shades of blues, so I'm going to throw some of that on.
throw it on. Throw it on and see what happens. A little more there, a little more there. And then we will go to the next color. No blue's not there. <laughs> well, that's good. As if you had blue snot, I'd be concerned. <laughs> you need to go to the hospital. One nice thing about the vinyl, since the paint and stuff doesn't um, dry immediately, even though now that I've got the gesso on here, it's drying a little bit easier, a little quicker, but it's nice to blend your paints out a little better. Since it's not all the way drying right away. It's gnat season again. Every year I seem to have these gnats that love to hover around my face, even back in my craft room when there's nothing here for them to be interested in. But there'll always be at least one gnat that just drives me nuts. I'm not a fan of gnats. I don't know why we get them every year, but they're annoying. I think they just like my craft stuff, maybe. Little bastards like my client, my craft stuff. That sounded pleasant. All right, I want to put a little bit of a darker color, which I already have another one of these open already. A little bit of a darker teal. And back in with a little more. We're just layering it on there. It's a good base coat. Alright, I'm liking that. It works for me. That's some good color there. 
Yeah, I do that. I, I, I do that every year. Every year I end up taking a little container, putting a piece of saran wrap on top, putting apple cider vinegar in it, a little bit of dish soap, and put the saran wrap on and poke holes in it. And I catch them, but it doesn't make them go away <laughs> ever. It's never made them go away. They just, you know, some of them will go in there, but until they do, they fly around my face and then eventually they'll die. But, oh, there's another one coming to bug me. You know, <laughs> I never, no matter what I do, I never get rid of all of them. It's very annoying. I don't get it. I just want them to leave me alone. Let me hit this with the heat gun. Pretty much dry already. These spots are wet. Uh, hold on a second. You gotta get the Okay, sorry. I called Chris hours and hours and hours ago so that he could pick me up something from the store because I still don't, I won't have his car till the end of the week and then it'll be my car permanently. But, um, he, you know, of course waits until he's all the way home conveniently for him before he answers the phone. So this is the problem I have, which is why I need a car because I can't keep, you know, Hold on, my stream. Anyway, I can't rely on him because it's ridiculous because I'll never get anything that way. So, yeah. So that's why I am getting a getting his car because he's getting a different car. So, thank goodness I won't have to deal with it because dealing with him to try to get anything done is ridiculous because he purposely won't answer my call so he doesn't have to go out of his way or go to the store or anything so yeah fun 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 two big ugly black bugs that mate and stick to everything are you talking about those um what are they called the love bugs or whatever My, my niece talks about those. I've seen those when I used to live in Florida. So I know they have them there. We don't have love bugs here, thank goodness. But yeah, this is where like the, the big nasty June bugs come out that are like that big and they make like a buzzing noise. Ugh. They don't, they're like just disgusting. I can't stand them. Tennessee bugs are just nasty. Florida bugs are nasty too, but. And they're worse probably than Tennessee bugs, but holy moly. 
I don't like bugs. I don't like the bugs. So does anybody need me to still slow down or are we all ready for the next prompt? Just holler if you need me to, to still slow down. Yes, I'm getting Chris's car. Are the love bugs out in full force? Ugh, those things are a pain in the ass. Well, get out that heat gun and dry your ink. Yeah, I remember, you know, my parents had a house in Florida and we used to go down there every summer and then several times a year and I hated the bugs there. And I hate the bugs here. Similar but different, different bugs, I think, for the most part. You got your blue snot down? Oh, good. All right, I'm going to pick another card. Let's pick add scribble words or graffiti. And when they, when I say scribble words, I don't mean like actual words. I mean, just pretend words like graffiti, like just like symbols and like blah, like, like as if that's how I usually explain it is as if you're four years old and you're taking, you're taking orders for, you know, for your, for your fake restaurant from your parents and you would just go bloop, 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 something like that, you know, and you can use like a Sharpie marker or any kind of marker or pen that you want to use. Um, it's a little bit different on this, but I'm trying to think of what I should use. First, let me just dry this little area right here, which is still a little sticky. Fine, oh, no, I'll use my white pen. All right, white pen. I might not even see it by the time I add other layers on here, but then again, you might see little remnants of it as you're working. Well, thank you, Sonia. Elizabeth, we just picked add scribble words or graffiti. That was, that's the next prompt. The girls are fighting over those bully sticks. I got them some bully sticks. And they're basically, well, they're literally bull penis sticks. It's disgusting. But they love them. And anything to get them to be quiet and lay down and chew on something. Because I got them the jerky things. And I, I'm going to be making my own dehydrated jerky. And I might even sell some on my Etsy. It'll be like pure chicken breast 
dehydrated down in baggies to give to your dog as treats. Um, so I'm going to be doing that and selling that on my Etsy. So if you have a dog that might like something like that, I'm going to do some chicken to start off with. I might do some beef. Um, I might even try like bacon or something and see what happens. But yeah, the bully sticks, um, I got them because I was doing some research to try to find something that was really super long lasting that they could, because I swear, I give them a chicken jerky that's this big with their tiny little mouths. They will eat it in literally 20 minutes. And I'm like, all right, there's got to be something, you know, that's long. And they love those chicken jerkies. So, you know, they're fine. But I found these bully sticks and it takes them a couple of, it takes them a good couple of hours to get through them because they're so hard and they're really big. So they're disgusting and they stink and they're so nasty. I don't even want to touch them with my hands. They're so gross. But once I start making the chicken jerky, I'll just give them a bunch of that because they can have, you know, it's just pure protein. They can have it. Why would I use grains? What do you mean? Grains for what? Oh, I might not. Yeah, I might not do it. I don't know. I was going to look up different things to see. So I was going to look up things to see what would work. But I definitely want to do a bunch of chicken because I get my chicken at a really good price. It's local. It's local grass-fed chicken breast um, or chicken or whatever it is organic chicken breast it's done locally and from a small farm and this little store up the street sells it and um so i want to make take a bunch of that chicken breast and make a whole crap load of dehydrated goodies for them because they like them and i want them to have things that are good for them to snack on Well, why would, if it's just meat, I wouldn't use grains. That wouldn't make sense. It's just going to be meat. It's not going to be anything else in it. Just chicken. I mean, I'm not, I'm not making like cookies. I'm making just, yeah, just chicken boobs. <laughs> it's just going to be chicken, dehydrated chicken. That's it. All right. Next card. Use metallic paints. Obviously use them however you want. But use metallic paint. And let's see. I got. I got some like. put this on with a credit card. Well, I, you can't do that with dehydrated because dehydrated is just you cut the meat and you put it in the dehydrator. There's nothing you could put a filler in with it. It's just meat. You know what I mean? It's just pure chicken breast. When you're dehydrating meat, you don't add anything else to it other than maybe seasoning or something, which I'm not even doing that because dogs don't give a crap about whether it's seasoned like something. They're just going to eat it because it's chicken. You know what I mean? Like I've seen recipes online where you can season. I'm like, well, you know, my dog doesn't need it seasoned. I just need chicken. <laughs> That's all it's going to be in it. I'm not making like any other kind of treat. I'm just dehydrating meat. That's it. That's it. And, you know, and if I do decide down the line to ever make some cookies or whatever, obviously the ingredients will be on it in case there is something that somebody doesn't want in it. Then that's up to them to decide whether they want to buy it. But I highly doubt I'll ever have time to do that. Dehydrating doesn't take much. Cut the meat up, put it in the machine, let the machine run for however long, however many days, and then that's it. <laughs> Bag it up and ready to go. Now we got a good shiny. Got a good shiny. Good shiny. What's a prompt? It's what we're using right now. 
A prompt is a card that has something prompting you to do something. And that's what a prompt is. My cards are prompting you to move your butt and put some paint down. What do you mean, what number was this paint? What does that mean? What are you talking about? Oh, are you asking what, what is a prompt or what was the prompt? The prompt was metallic paint. I thought you were asking what is a prompt. I was like, oh, um, you missed three. We did use blue, add scribble words or graffiti, and metallic paints. So you can still catch up if you move quickly. Hmm. Oh, it's the third prompt. I didn't realize you were asking what number was. It. I thought you meant what number was the paint, meaning like the model number or the number number. I didn't know what you meant. I don't know what you mean. I'm glad they understood because I didn't. I'm thinking of on the inside of putting a piece of fabric and seeing if I can get a piece of fabric stuck down using maybe um maybe some of that stuff the uh what is it my stuff the where is it why can't I find my glue well I'll be damned Oh, there it is. A 3D matte gel, I'm thinking, would maybe work to stick down fabric. Maybe. I'm not sure. I can always try it. It's not going to hurt. Actually, I probably, well, yeah, I could probably use that. Hi, Tracy. Tracy's 10 minutes, 10 miles away from men. <laughs> Tracy, did you know that? You were only 10 minutes away from all the men. <laughs> that made me laugh. That was funny. Ooh, you better keep that and let that dry out, Kellyanne. Oh, there's only men in certain towns there. Well, then you know what towns to avoid. Chocolate time. I'm still working on that thing. I keep them over here because it's the only time I eat them is when I'm creating. What are you going to use as your journal by fives journal? Oh, your paper towel. Are you going to use it in your, your journal by five or something? That'll be fun. Want to hear something funny? 
So a couple of YouTubers started doing what's called, um, uh, what are they? Artist trading coins. Did you guys see those? And it's so funny because I did the exact same thing. I just didn't call them coins. Two years ago, I did round art, art tiles. <laughs> They're exactly the same thing. I just didn't call them coins. I called them art tiles. I find that hilarious. But I like the coins. I like na that they're named coins because that's a better name for them, actually. Does that make you want chocolate? they are like little coins well mine's actually small a little bit smaller theirs were a little bigger mine were like that big and theirs are a little bit bigger I, see i would think that smaller would be considered coins I was. That's why I said in the video, remember? You watched it, didn't you, Joy? I was like, I'm bored with doing I'm bored with doing little art tiles and square things. I wanted to do something round. And the ones I did were about like this size. And I did them like an art tile kind of, but I did them in a circle. And you can look it up on my YouTube. I was so bored with squares. I was like, let's do some circles. <laughs> But I'm glad to see other people doing round ones because whether they're called coins or whatever, I don't give a crap. I'm just glad people are doing round ones because the square ones are boring after a while. Okay, are we ready for the next card? If you have an objection, you need to speak now, but... We're going to move along. I'm trying to go as slow as possible without getting it too slow. In Poland today, 18 wheeler carrying a load of hot liquid chocolate wrecked and spilled the chocolate across six lanes of highway. Oh my God. I would have just been grabbing handfuls of chocolate or I would have took ice cream out of my freezer and put it in a big bowl and ran to the scene and just scooped up some chocolate for the top of it. <laughs> yes, I have pogs, Elizabeth. I have tons and tons of pogs. I used to collect them. So in my, I have, and I kept saying, not, I kept saying a couple of years ago that I wanted to get my pogs and use them in my crafts while I can't, I, they're in the garage somewhere. So when I'm cleaning out, I'm going to find them and I and I wanted to take them and alter them because I just have them sitting there either alter them or some of them have really cool pictures on them and kind of leave them like that but like maybe ink the outside or do something with them but yeah I've got tons and tons of them and I was talking about that a couple years ago probably in a video saying somewhere down in my basement I've got tons and tons of pogs and I probably got 500 of them down there and I want to um, get them out and use them. And I've been waiting to come across them and all this time. And I still haven't come across the box that they're in. So I'm going to be cleaning out my basement in the next like month or so. And when I find them, I'm bringing them up. <laughs> and if you don't have any, Elizabeth, I'll send you a couple. But yeah, I collected them forever. We had some sort of food truck that wrecked. Um, what the hell was it? I don't remember, but it was like, it made the news. And I can't remember what it was that wrecked. 
Um, and then a friend of mine, she got a whole bunch of sausage and White Castle burgers off of a truck that had wrecked and her husband towed it. Um, so when he showed up to tow it, because it was, you know, the, the food was still good. It was still frozen, but it was going to go bad because he had to tow it. And the it, it broke the refrigerator system, whatever hit the truck or whatever happened. So, or whatever was wrong with it. I don't remember if it was an accident or it just stopped working. I don't know. But anyway, so they gave him a whole bunch of, um, of the sausage patties and the white castle burgers and then she gave me a whole bunch so i have like some down in my freezer but i don't eat those so i gave them to chris but i don't even think he'll eat them a pog was a game okay and and you had like it was kind of like when you would play marbles and you had shooter marbles well with pogs you had paper pogs they're basically like chipboard pieces with like designs on them and they were sometimes holographic that you know they look different designs whatever and then you had what was called the slammers which was basically the equivalent of a a marble shooter it was a it was a thicker pog that was usually made out of plastic or metal and i have some that are plastic and some that are metal and what you would do is you would stack up you would play with a friend, you know, and it was kind of like a trading card thing in a sense, but it was, you had to play this game in order to trade pogs or to get pogs or win pogs from your friends or whatever. How we played it, which I'm not sure it was the right way or the wrong way, but you would take, like, we would each, you know, two people or however many people, they would all decide on how many they were going to stack in the center. And... I'm trying to remember correctly. You would take your, you would take your, um, um, what the hell did I just call it? Now I can't remember what I just said. You would take your, um, the thicker one that I was talking about, metal or plastic. Can't remember now what the hell it's called. Anyway, and you would slam it down on the, either on the pile or next to the pile. And whichever one's flipped over, you get to keep whether or not they're theirs or yours or whatever, you get to keep them. And then the, the rest of them get piled up and then the next person goes, something like that. And whichever ones flip over, they get to keep. Slammer, yeah, that's it, Elizabeth. Why can't my brain think? Um, yeah, the slammer, you would take the slammer and you'd slam it down. That's why it's called the slammer. But if I get the pogs, I'll show you how we used to play it because I think I'd remember if they were in my hands, but... But yeah, they used to be, they started out, the game started out years and years prior to when it was popular. It started out in the 80s, actually, and it was done with milk caps, and it started in California. And people would take, like, the milk cap, um, like the paper thing from the side of the milk cap or whatever it is. I don't remember what it was, like, some sort of milk thing. And see, we didn't have that on our milk, but maybe out in California they did. And that's what they were. They were called pogs, I guess. And they started with that. And they would either draw designs on them or sometimes the milk caps would have designs on them. They would come with designs, like different milk would have like different designs. And that's what they would use. And then they would use something like a rock or something to be the slammer. And then the game kind of turned into like this commercial game. And it, um, and it, you know, people started obviously marketing it and selling the pogs as, you know, pogs. Hi, Donna. You lurker. <laughs> but yeah, I have tons of them. I And the only reason I have them is because my niece was little and she used to come to my house all the time. And we went, you know, and, and I used to keep her, you know, for the weekends and during, sometime during the week and in the summers. And so she's the one that introduced me to them because I, I was already in my twenties. So, you know, I wouldn't have cared, but, um, she had got, I had taken her to like, I don't know, like a discount store or whatever. And she had bought some and she was explaining to me what they were. And so I said, okay. And I got some and I bought a whole bunch of them so that her and I could play them. You know, like I bought some for her, some for me so that like we can win them from each other and just have fun playing them because we used to, we used to play all kinds of games. I didn't really have TV 
back then I was really poor. Half the time I didn't even have electric because my electric would always get shut off because I couldn't afford it. So we would sometimes sit there by candlelight and play pogs in the dark. You know, who cares? You know, I mean, like, obviously I made sure I had electric in the wintertime, but I'm talking in like the summer or the spring or whatever. Um, but yeah, we would play pogs or play video, not video games, board games, tons and tons of board games I had and cards. We used to like playing, um, playing uh, slapjack and spit. If you ever played that game. I'm not off doing something. I'm right here. So anyway, that's how I ended up with pogs. And then over time, I just ended up with a ton of them. So anyway, I'm going to pick another card. Add tissue or napkin. Add tissue. Ooh, and that tissue that I just got today, I think is blue. Let's add some of that. Let me get some tissue. Ooh, I like some of that. Hmm, I gotta try to decide now. Do I wanna add some of this napkin? or tissue or do I want to add some of this tissue hmm, or both I don't know I'm thinking I might add some of this because I just think that what I want to do. Maybe I'll add like this one just smack in the middle because why not? Because I said so. All right, so if we add it like right here, like that, then it'll kind of show on both sides. Sounds like a plan to me. I keep getting knocked out of the stream. I don't know what would do that. You've never seen what done, Anita?
some of these off here. Oh, use the water. Oh, I'm not the genius. I didn't come up with that one. I saw other people do that a long time ago. These girls need to quit fighting over those bully sticks. They each have one. But guess what? One of them thinks it should have both of them. Of course. Because God forbid they just sit and each have their one bully stick to chew on. No, no, no. They've got to steal each other's and be little brats. In a minute, I'm going to go in there and take it away. Or separate them. Good thing you bad girls. Weirdos. Aren't they a little too young to be eating those? <laughs> Yeah, it does. It leaves a nice good edge on the napkin so that it's not like not so visible. Still visible, but not so much. Where have you been, Miss Tammy? Are you talking to me, Holly? What am I making? Well, this is a, a class that we're doing right now called Mixed Media Mashup. And uh, we're just following what the cards tell us. We pick the cards and the cards tell us what to do. And I'm doing it on a journal cover today. You can do it on paper and cut it up and use it for ATCs or you can do it in a journal. You can do it on whatever you want. Okay. Yeah, the third one was metallic paint. Use blue, add scribbles or graffiti. Metallic paint, add tissue or napkin. So we're only on the fourth one. Only on numero four. Normally I do this on a piece of watercolor paper. But today I wanted to decorate this journal that Miss Shannon Green gave me. To play with and do my mixed media on there. Oh, he's having surgery tomorrow. Well, I hope he has a speedy recovery and feels better after his surgery. Hi, Mary. You ordered it from my store, Mary? 
or did you order it from somewhere else? I know I sent out some international stuff, but I don't remember if I sent one to you or not. <laughs> Oh, from my store? Oh, okay. Good. I'm glad it got there quickly then. Does anybody have any objections to me picking another card, or am I going too fast? Kitty Crow's not done yet. I'll give it a little bit longer. As long as you're working, you're not shoveling chocolate in. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I like shoveling chocolate in. What do you mean, what am I using on the base? I just put gesso over it. It's a vinyl custom keeper from Shannon Green's um, Etsy shop. So I just put gesso on it and then started putting stuff on it. Malted milk balls. <laughs> I have spinal stenosis as well. They talked about fusing my parts of my spine and I said, no, that's okay. I'd rather suffer. <laughs> but yeah, I have spinal stenosis. Not fun. All right, I'm going to pick another card. Let's pick another stencil. So this is where you get out your stencils. And I just knocked over my glue gun. Hold on. Um, get out your, your, your uh, stencils and do some stenciling. Actually, I'm going to do, before I do the words, I want to do some other things in other colors. Um, whoa, I'm going to do some of that. Like a lime green.
both of these colors kind of together. The um, color shifting pink and then the pink from Target. That's a lot of pink. I probably don't need that much pink. I'm working on it. I'm doing the best I can. I just got some in today. They'll go up sometime this week. It's just two different styles. But I'm working on it. it takes a little time to get things in. But there's going to be lots and lots of stencils soon. gold paint or gold texture. I'm going to do gold paint because I don't know what's coming next and what's going to go on top of it. So there's no point in doing texture if it's just going to get covered up.
Hi, Barbara. Okay. That looks groovy. Dry it. Hi, Barbara. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. I forgot about it. <laughs> that you were going to get the the Pirate House glasses. Well, no pressure. So if you don't end up getting there, no big deal. You've been looking for a house, huh? Are you moving? Oh yeah, the, that glass mat is on back order, and I won't even get mine till the end of May, so I can't imagine how long you'd have to wait if you tried to order one now. Yeah, I think Simon says stamps. That's, that's where I got mine from, and it's back ordered. Hi, Angela. Tonight's project is mixed media mashup. We do it every Wednesday night and we use prompt cards to choose what we're going to do um, on our page, whether it's a paper or in this case, I'm doing it on a vinyl custom keeper from Miss Shannon Green. So, but you could do it on anything at all, any kind of paper or substrate that you want to. I ordered mine in January, January 18th, I ordered it. Yeah, well, I'm about to pick another prompt. But yeah, we just finished that prompt. I know, it's crazy. I have to wait, not even because of the mat, but because they won't break up the order and send me what has come in. So I have the tool set, which is, the tool set is, um, the to, the tool set that goes with the craft mat or you know the glass mat um the tim holtz tool set with that ruler thing that goes on it um that is not coming out till the end of may so they won't send the mat because of that and then there's other things in the order too so my birthday presents are going to be here six months after i ordered them <laughs> And by then, I may have a piece of glass going across my entire table. <laughs> Who knows? Thanks, Angela. Well, did you order the tool set? 
at the same time as you ordered the mat, Elizabeth? And where did you order yours from? I thought you said you didn't get the tool set. I could have sworn you said you didn't get the tool set when you ordered yours. I don't know why I remember you saying that you just got the mat. You didn't get the tool set. You did. Huh. Well, I had other things in the order too. So I'm sure some one of those is holding it up. Who knows? I don't know. Just as long as I get it eventually. All right, we're going to pick another card. Pick a card, any card. Whoops. Use white. We're going to use some white. What am I going to use with white? Mm -hmm. Ooh, maybe I'll do some white dots. What are they doing? These dogs are going insane. I'm doing I'm just making dots I don't want to overdo it with a lot of white just a little bit so I'm not going to use like I'm not going to use like a ton a little bit of white. I don't want to overdo the white. Hey, Sean. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do I see a poodle face or a deer face on the top middle of the sheet? Um. Um. I don't see it. Where do you see it? You see a poodle face or a deer face. I don't see it. Center bottom. Mm. I still don't see it. <laughs> You see an elf with big ears. <laughs> it snows at the dark center. Oh, I see what you mean. And then here, are the, is that what the ears are? Those there. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this is the poodle puff. <laughs> you guys are funny. Oh, I see the mustache where it goes like that, like the dog mustache, and then this here. 
I ca I'm catching what you're talking about. And here are the ears. And that's the poodle pup. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I figured it out. No, right? <laughs> Do I get a prize because I see it? <laughs> Let me go run and get a drink real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I put my sweater on. My arms are getting cold. I'm craving popcorn. I really want popcorn. As soon as we're done with this, I'm going to make popcorn. Hi, Kennedy. You can't take my chocolate. I'll see you. I'll get you. I'll spank your ass. I'll spank your ass. All right. This is almost done to me because I kind of like it the way it is. But we're going to add some more. Add paint or ink with a brayer. That can be a risky one, adding paint with a brayer. I don't know if I want to do that. But we're going to do it anyway because why the hell not? Right? Right. You only live once. What if I add a little purple? And this is the color shifting purple. What if I do that? What if? What would happen? How many cards do I pick? I usually just pick somewhere around 8 to 10. Sometimes a little more. Sometimes a little less. It just depends on when I feel like, you know, it's done. I go by mine because I figure I like to overload mine. And so depending on what other people like to do, they may not. So I usually overload mine. And then I'm not adding a lot. I'm just adding some accents with this color shift paint because why not? You'll still be able to see everything because it's really it's pretty transparent paint, but it'll give a little purple hue, which I like. It brought out the purple from in there, and then it'll also have like a color shifting when it's dry. It kind of shifts. It sheeps. It goes from a blue to a purple. It's pretty. If you don't have a brayer, you can A, skip it. You don't have to do it. Or you can just like use a credit card or something. You, you can improvise. But it's okay if you skip it. What's that thing I'm using? This is called a brayer. And it's used in printmaking mostly. Um, so a lot of people that have mono, uh, the jelly plates or the mono printing plates, gel plates, gel press plates, whatever they're called, will use a brayer to add their paint on. 
And so I like to sometimes add paint on with a brayer because it, once you put the paint on it, it goes on thin and you can kind of roll it on. Yeah, you can use a rolling pin as a brayer. Why the hell not? went on in some spots with like a dendritic -y pattern. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe not. There, there it is. See? It kind of had like a that kind of pattern here and here and over here a little bit. It's kind of cool. Ah, I'm digging it. That's going to look really cool. Isn't that neat? That's going to be so cool. Or I can turn it this way. Whichever one I like better. I think I like this side better. Oh, let me take one of my medicines real quick before I forget. I'm hoping I'll last for like an after thing. I don't know how tired I'm going to get. Because I didn't get very much sleep, unfortunately. My stupid glue gun thing won't stay up. I can't get it to stay anymore. I used to have it where it would stay, and now I can't get it to stay. make myself a little well I think what I'm gonna do is remember I told you guys I had like a door like a door with windows in it, it has a bunch of windows and it. it's a it's a bare door it's not been used ever it's like a brand new kind of door I got it at a yard sale a long time ago and I've been wanting to make it into a desk well and all that's really stopping me was getting a piece of glass to go over top of the door I'm gonna spray paint the door pink um, obviously I'm going to cover the glass so that it doesn't get spray painted and then on the glass I'm going to put like a collage of like pictures and stuff and then I'm going to put like LED lights underneath of it and put glass on top so I'm going to be looking into getting a piece of glass in the next couple of weeks and seeing how much I can get for a, a tempered piece of glass to go over my door and I'm going to move this desk over to my right and that the desk that I have over there is just a folding table so I'm going to put that in my potentially in my Etsy room. If not, it'll just go back in the garage. But this will be the table that goes over there. And then my door will be my desk here with the new glass and all that hoo-ha when I finally get it done. Um, because I really, really want my door. Because see, underneath of this table, because it's a picnic table, it has these like things underneath of it, which prevent me from putting um, some cabinets underneath of, of my table, which would make it really great for storage. But with a door, and I'll have it sitting on two cabinets, um, there'll be a cabinet on either side and a door, but it'll have a lot of open space underneath of it for other cabinets for more storage and a better storage solution for underneath of my desk. So I'm going to be working on that. I'm going to be hopefully looking into, I'm going to be calling some places this week and next week for some quotes on a piece of glass. I'm going to measure the door and get a quote on some glass with a beveled edge, nice tempered glass, something pretty thick, like a good, uh, you know, almost a half an inch thick, probably something nice and, you know, not maybe well maybe a quarter inch thick because this is like an eighth of an inch thick and this is pretty good 
So maybe a quarter inch thick. I think that's what I used to have on my bar top that I made. I made a bar top thing and it was all decoupaged and it looked really cool. And I ordered glass for it a long time ago, but um, I think it was quarter inch glass. But I want it to be nice and thick and um, I want it to be a really cool looking desk to have where it kind of lights up and illuminates underneath. Um, but I want it, I'm going to get lights that kind of you can like LED lights that are not real super bright, but they like change colors and they run so that I can put them all underneath of it so that if I wanted to, I could sit here with the lights on and it'd be really cool. So hopefully I can get that glass because that's all that's stopping me. I have everything else. I just need that piece of glass. You made a ceiling tile? What kind of ceiling tile? I want to see. I want to see. Oh. Oh, it's cool. I love that, Kennedy. That's really cool. Are you are you putting it up in your school or something or is it is it going to be like on the ceiling or is it you're just keeping it down? Like so it's in other words like one of those drop ceilings pieces or something. It's like foam that you worked on, I'm assuming. Something like that. But that's really good. You did a great job. Make a table with beads. What do you mean with beads? Oh, that's cool, Kennedy. Yeah, the, it's well, shattered glass proof glass is tempered glass. That's what it is. It's called tempered glass. And so it doesn't shatter. And this is tempered glass. It doesn't shatter. So if I were to take this really heavy piece of metal and slam it on there, it would just kind of crumble. It wouldn't shatter into shards. It would crumble. So that's basically what, you know, that's the same. It's the same thing. It's called tempered glass. And so that's what I want. Um, obviously for my table, I would get a piece of tempered glass. But yeah, I want to do a really cool, like I want to paint the table pink and then I'm going to do like some mixed media around the edges of it and, you know, like some stenciling and some this and some that. Um, and then on the inside of all the little windows, I'm going to do something. Um, I may do like a stained glass something or other, and maybe I'll put the lights underneath of that. I might put it under the desk kind of, you know, like taped under the desk so that you see like what's coming through the stained glass kind of because I might do like you could take napkins and as long as they're like nice and see-through if you decoupage them down it acts as a stained glass and if you put light behind it it would illuminate really pretty so I might do something like that after stencils it was add add paint or ink with a brayer that was the one we just picked. Now we're going to pick another one. I'm going as slow as I can without trying to be annoying. Make a paper cutout and use as a mask. Um, I might not do this one. I might skip this one. And if you want to skip one, you can. I'm going to skip this one just because I don't want to use a mask. But if you were going to use this one, you would make a paper cutout and in order to do that you would take like a piece of scrap paper and you would basically just make whatever shape you wanted 
you can fold it up and make like a snowflake type of pattern and do like something crazy where you cut, you know, just pieces off of it like so. Um, and do like, just to make like a crazy shape. Or you could just do a round one or a square one. It doesn't have to be complicated like I'm doing, but I'm not gonna use this on mine because, but if you want to, you can. You would take some spray or even some paint on a sponge or whatever. And so, let me clean all this up. And it would look cool if you sprayed it through and over the mask. And obviously it doesn't have to be this big. You can just cut a piece off of it. I can't seem to function today. But like this, kind of like a stencil or a mask, you can you can cut pieces off of it and make it smaller, like so, and save it for other pieces and just do this. And then if you spray around it, it's going to leave all of this part, you know, what's underneath and you'll see like the spray. Do you know what I mean? So that's like what a mask is. It's not exactly the same as a stencil because a mask usually is goes to the edge like it doesn't have a border around it. It goes to the edge so that the edge is decorative. Like, um, let's see. I have a mask in here, like a store-bought mask. Like this is a mask. How it's all, the edges are all also decorative. So that would be considered a mask. Same with something like this, but I don't feel like using that, so I'm not going to. Good night, Kennedy. Good luck with your finals. Hi, Carla. I'm going to pick another card just to move it along. Use green. The only thing green I might do is a little green metallic. Green metallic through a stencil, maybe. Maybe, uh, let's see. I got like these border stencils, which I think I still have these on my thing, on my Etsy. I'm not sure, but I think. Um, a little bit since I still have some of that green left we will do a few dots down here actually we'll do some wavy lines Deal. 
Ecco Dio. So the last couple of cards I'll pick will be alternative cards. And those cards are cards that you can kind of give or take. I mean, you can give or take any of them if there's like, I didn't want to do the whatever that card was. Which one was it? Oh, the mask. You know, so you can give or take any of them, really, if, you, if there's something you really don't want to do. Like, I didn't want to mask over anything. Um, but usually the last two or three that I pick are like alternative cards for anybody that's still not done or they don't feel they're done or they just want to add something else. So, you know, I pick usually a few extra cards just in case. That's funny, Barbara. My, yeah, Tigger snores too. He snores horrible. So I usually just pick them, use household stamps. I didn't, I didn't use my bubble wrap. Can you believe it? I didn't use any of my bubble wrap. Hmm. Maybe I should. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe I should. Let's see. Do I want to do that? Or instead of bubble wrap, I can do a little bit of these circles so it won't be so big. And I'll do it with this color here. Because I love me some circles. So I'm going to spread this out fairly thin. And these are those stamp um, stamp or clay. Oh, that looks cool. I love that. Um, those clay stamp things, clay texture things. I have these in my shops right now, but I have the bigger blue ones. Um, I don't have any of the pink ones. But it doesn't matter what color they are. But I definitely like those. You can't really see them that well, but wait until I show you. And see all the circles? And then there. I love it. We're going to put some more. Because we love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, that was a good idea. I just spray it over my garbage can with some water. It's not enough water to hurt anything in my garbage can or make anything weird, but it's enough to clean it out pretty well. And then I've got a lot of stuff left on there, so I'm going to... use maybe my bubble wrap. Where's that piece I was using? I put it aside. Mm. Dang it, I was. I did put it aside somewhere, didn't I? I had that piece of bubble wrap I wanted to get all pinky. paint left over. I can cut these up into half ATCs.
is a good pink, painty uh, baby wipe. Let me let that dry somewhere. Oh, that's good. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, and then I'll pick one more. It says add circles. I just added circles, but you might have not added circles for that last one. So add circles will be the last. So I used use green, use household stamps, and add circles were the last couple I did. Before that, it was make a paper cutout and use it as a mask. So these are the ones that I went through a little quicker. But I think I'm done with mine. I feel good about it. I have more little bubble wrap in the closet somewhere. Um, oh, that's right. You did say that, Janie. You said you, you, um, you sent me bubble wrap and it didn't, it's not, it didn't show up. Well, that's all right. Maybe it'll come by the end of the week. I care. So if you're done with your mixed media mashup, you want to right now you want to take a picture of it and post it in the Pink Poodle Pack Creative Crafty Playground Facebook group, which you should already be joined if you're not. The link is in the description of this video. Um, so go down there and get the link and join real quick and I will accept, you know, I'll go and accept everybody that joins right now if you're not joined. If you are, then post your picture of your mixed media mashup, your completed mixed media mashup, and make sure I'm tagged in it. My name is Stacy Evans. So if you put the at symbol and start typing S-T-A-C-Y, my name should come up. Sometimes all you have to do is type Stacy, but if it doesn't work, sometimes tags don't work for some reason. If you put the at sim symbol, like, you know, like your email is so-and-so at blah, 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 put that symbol and then start typing S-T, you know, no space, put S-T-A-C-Y, it should pop up a menu with my name. So I'll give you, I'll show you real quick. We'll do it together so I can show, because I know there are people that do not know. They don't know, and it's okay. Okay, so I'll go to the group. If this thing will work, if my computer is a little slow today and every day. So if you wanted to post something, you would go and click, whoops. You would click photo or video and find your photo wherever it is these are those movies that we were doing um so you'd find your your let's say this was the the, the photo that you wanted to post your mixed media mashup and then if you wanted to tag me or tag anybody you would do the at symbol you don't have to because like if i do Janie's name it'll bring up see here's the menu Janie. there she is but sometimes it won't do it. Sometimes it won't. So if you just put the at symbol, that kind of will trigger it and it'll do it. Um, so if it ever doesn't work, use that at symbol and it'll work. So you would, you would, you would do, whoops, if I can type, that would be great. You would do my name, Stacy Evans. And then you would put MMM week 54 like that or week number 54 anything week just so I know what week it is in case I'm looking at it I don't look at a different week from somebody else and then you would just hit post and that's it and that's all you need to do and then I will find it and I will start writing the names down um, let me get a piece of paper and I will write the names down I've got a mess going on on my desk here. I've got
got a disaster going on on my desk, like big time. I ugh, so much is going on. I'm like losing my mind. Pauline's coming this weekend to help me with some things that we're going to be doing. There's Miss Sharon's. See how she is it still on? Wait, did I put it ever put it back? Oh, it's still on the screen. So anyway, whoops. But anyway, see how she did where it now says with Stacy Evans and week 54. That's perfectly fine. I see hers is there. I'll let you guys look with me because otherwise I'm just going to be sitting here doing this for a minute. I will like it. And I will write her name down. And you see on the on the left here, all these popping up, these are all people tagging me and putting the photos up so that I'll see them. And I'll just keep refreshing until I find them all. I got Miss Sharon's. It worked out fine last time. I was able to get everybody's. Here's Kelly Ann's. Beautiful Kelly Ann. Love your colors. And if I... Oh, my mouse is going to start acting up. Let me use it on my keyboard. Um, if I put a heart or a like, that means I seen it and I have you written down. And this is also the same for if you don't finish yours right now and want to finish it by midnight tomorrow, you'll be in a different, um, you'll be in a totally different drawing and you're eligible for both drawings regardless. All these people I'm writing down, I'm going to write them down again um in in for the next for the next drawing which will be tomorrow which will be well it'll be next week but I'll take all it'll go until tomorrow you have to finish it by tomorrow and then next week I'll pull the names for that here's Teresa Brady all right we will give it a like I'm using the stupid thing on my keyboard which isn't the greatest either but my mouse is acting up and kind of being a jackass, so. All right, I don't think there's any more down here. I'll have to refresh, and I bet there's a ton. Every time I refresh, it'll bring some more up to the top. I need new batteries. I keep forgetting to get AAA batteries like a dummy. Oh, look how pretty. I love those colors, Miss Trina. T-R-E-N-A. Okay. Miss Vicki Gilbert. Last week was her first week, I believe. And now she's doing it this week. Ooh, yours is pretty. I love the powder room. That's cool. Very cool. Love that. And Miss Danny. Miss Danny Coleman. Very pretty colors. Love that. I love that stencil right there. It looks like a mandala. That's cool. And we got you, Teresa. And ooh, we got Joy Mitchell. Ooh, look at hers. Hers is like busy, busy, and colorful, just the way I like it. Love it. Joy. Joy Mitchell C. We'll put, make sure I throw, did I do that for the net last one? Yeah, I did. And then we got Miss Elizabeth. Ooh, look how pretty Miss Elizabeth's is. Hers has got purple and blue and circles and star. Ooh, where'd you get those stars at? Is that a stencil or is that a stamp, Miss Elizabeth? I like how big they are. Like, I have the little stars stencil, but I want to get a bigger one. Oh, I love that. Purdy. I might make one on my Cricut, actually. My pen is running out of ink. And then we got Carly Cal. Ooh, look at that one. I like that. I like all the ripped up tissue paper on there. Love that. Make sure I spell her name right. I need to make room on my desk. I have no room to write. Miss Carly Cow, very pretty. Everybody did so good. 
I got Miss Sharon. I got Miss Kellyanne. So I might need to refresh now. Time to refresh again once I get down too far. And there are going to be a whole slew more of them. And there's Miss Mildred. It's very pretty, Miss Mildred. I love the busy ones. Those are usually are my favorite. The busier, the better. Because I don't know why. I just, I'm attracted to that busy background, especially... I mean, obviously, if I'm doing a background for like, um, for like a journal page, I won't make it that busy. But for mixed media mashup and for like the backgrounds of ATCs and postcards, I love the busy backgrounds. And Miss Shannon, and they were very pretty. I love that napkin. Did you do two of them? Wait, I'm confused. I need to click on this. Oh, I like it. I like that napkin. Or the, it's either a napkin or tissue paper. I love that. Is this from last time or something? Oh, this is the same one. Oh, it's just the lighting is different. So it like threw me off. Never mind. The lighting is totally different on this one to this one because of the metallic. Totally threw me off. I was like, is he, did you do two? Miss Bobby Hill. Very pretty. Love those circles. Love that. That's awesome. Love, love, love. Very pretty. Yeah, and if you're not sure what to do with your mixed media, come on, mouse. Cooperate here. Um, you don't know what to do with it. You can either, A, treat it like a, like a journal page or, a, you know, just a solid piece of art and do something, put a focal image on, do other things to it. Or you can cut them up into ATCs and postcards. I say that all the time, but some people might be new and they don't, they're like, what am I going to do with this? If you cut it up into ATCs, you'll be shocked at how cool it looks as an ATC. Um, okay. We're back down here. So let's do another refresh. Did I miss this one? Shelly Carlson. Did I get you? Nope. Let me make sure I get you. I almost missed one. Oh, and Miss Pauline's down here too. Oh, that one's cool, Pauline. I like that. I could probably do two on this. I like that. I like, is that napkin? That napkin's really pretty. Loving that. Let's see, anything else? We got Miss Trina. We got Miss Vicky. Got Miss Danny. Got Miss Teresa. I think that's it. Yeah, okay. Let's refresh again. I can't see the chat right now if you're talking. I mean, I can check it real quick, but. Oh, the light was sucky. Well, it looked cool. It made it look like two different pieces. Not yet. I'm still, I don't know what your name is, but I'll get it. I'm still refreshing, so. As I refresh, it, it shows me more. Um, let me get up to the top here. Did I refresh? Let me do it again just in case it didn't work. I'm refreshing. I refresh several times, so don't worry about it. If for some reason after all the times I refresh, I don't get it, just let me know. I'll find it. We had no problems last time we did this. Okay, it's Miss Elizabeth. We got Miss Bobby's. We got Miss Mildred's. We got Miss Shannon's. We got Miss Sharon's. We got Kellyanne's. We got, nope, we don't got Julianne. We got to put her down. Ju Julianne? Ju Ju Julianne? 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 I don't know how to say that. Julie, N N E. Right. Julianne? That's pretty if it's Julianne. That's, oh, it would be pretty regardless, but Julianne, that's interesting. Tell me if I'm saying that right. I don't know who you are in the chat. Is that you? Um, is that you? Um, you were just here. Uh, the other, not Crafty Kitty, but Kitty Cow. Is that you? Crow? Whatever it is. Oh, is it? Oh, cool. Thanks, Pauline. Julene. I'm interested if that's how you say that. That's interesting. We got Miss Joy's, very pretty, and Shelly Cow. Is that Shelly or 
what was it? Carly Cow. Uh, and Shelly's. And Miss Trina's. And Miss Danny. And Teresa's. And Hello Kennedy's tile. And I think we don't have anything beyond that point. So we're going to refresh again. A refresh queen today. I got Pauline, we already seen Miss Elizabeth, Bobby. I think I'm coming to the end. I'm gonna check my notifications as well to see if there's anybody that I got. <clears throat> oh, there's Amber Moon. We'll take hers. I can open that up in a new page to make sure I see it right away since hers was over to the side. There's Miss Amber Moon. Ooh, look at the seahorse. I love it. Amber Moon, what's your last name? Moon. I love it, love it, love it. Love that big seahorse. That's cool. That's a cool stencil. Okay, get rid of that. Keep going down here a little bit. Looks like we've seen all of these. Yep, let me check my notifications. Amber Moon, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Elizabeth commented on a bunch of them. Um, Shannon, Sharon, Danny, Elizabeth, Danny, Shelly. Sean. You just reacted to some. You didn't actually do it, I don't think. I think you got here late. <clears throat> yeah, that looks about it. But we're gonna I'm gonna refresh one more time and then we'll go back into the chat and see if anybody says to me that they haven't gotten noticed theirs yet. If I haven't written their name down. It looks like I got everybody so far. I'm not gonna wait too much longer, so if you still haven't finished it yet, you may have to I mean, if you're that far behind where you're not getting it finished up in the time that I'm sitting here doing this, then you may have to just enter it for the next drawing tomorrow. Because I can't sit here all night and do this as much as I want to. Because I just like looking at it. Yeah, that's it. All right. That's it for now. Unless anybody hasn't been seen, let me know now. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Because I'm going to cut these up and put them in a cup. And we're going to draw who's going to win the journal from Miss Shannon Green. Mm. I need to find a cup. I need a cup. I need a cup. I need a cup. Where's my cup? I have one. It's just a matter of where the hell it is. Let me find it. Cup, 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 cup here. Cuppy, cuppy. Here, cuppy, cuppy, cuppy. Here, cup, 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 cup. Where did it go? Hmm. Oh, I have a box here. Hold on. I'll use a box. I use a box. I got a box. It'll work. I lost my cup. I lost my mind too, but I mostly lost my cup. Cut off all the excess. Um, yeah, I, it, it, any of the ones that were after, yeah, I went through and I got them all. So I have them all. I have to do the drawing for that. Um, I got to double check though. I'll double check and make sure I have the ones that were written down because I didn't have time to do that yet. So that's going to take an extra minute, but you know, we're all just hanging out at this point. So we are going to do the drawing also for last week's. For the people that do it after the after the actual class, like you guys did it all during the class. But for the people that are going to do it after the class, there will be another drawing next week for them who complete it by midnight tomorrow night. So, all right. You have a cat named Cuppy? <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. 
Okay, so we're going to stick everybody in here. And we're going to draw a winner. And what you're going to do is, if you win, you are going to message me with your address. With your, you know, the address you want it shipped to. So that I can pass it along to Shannon. Because she's going to ship it right from her. She's going to put it out in the mail. So it's going to come directly from her, not me. Um, the prize for the next drawing that I'm going to do from last week, that's going to come from me. All right, we've got our names. I'm going to jiggle them and wiggle them. And then I'm going to reach over here and I'm going to pull. Oh, thank you, Sharon. All right, I got the name in my hand. And it is Miss Cheryl Shelly Carlson. Miss Shelly, you win. I spelled your name wrong. I left out an E, but Shelly, woohoo, woohoo, you win. And I just ripped it. You win the journal from Miss Shane and Green, Miss Shelly. Now make sure you message me because that's my reminder. Because you might think, well, my address is in the file. Why can't you just find it? That's my reminder. If you message me, I will make sure things get done. Otherwise, <laughs> crap don't get done unless you message my ass. So I'm going to put this on my desk. I'm going to go grab the other people's names. I'm going to save these names because I'm going to add these to the running list. It's a whole thing. Oh, here's the cup. I knew it. I knew I had that cup. All right. Let me find the other names from... What are these from? These are, yeah, these are from week 53. I'm going to make sure I don't have anybody skipped because I have people in this cup. I need to make sure they're all in here. All right. I've got, when I see a name, I've got Trina. I make sure because there's some people I didn't, here we go. Trina's in there. Just want to make sure because I didn't get a chance to do this. I was really busy last week. Renee Lynn, she's in here. These are the people from the immediate class that I pulled, and this is from the other one. Here's Miss Shelley again. There she is. Congrats, Miss Shelley. And Miss Mildred Vega. There she is. Shannon Nailer. Naylor. Naylor. Don't know how to say it, but Shannon. There she is on the second page. Miss Sharon. Miss Sharon's right there. Miss Vicki Gilbert. It's got to be at least one that I missed. I tried to go through and do it. Nope. There's that one. Miss Tammy Porter. There she is. Miss Kellyanne uh, Rawson. Kellyanne. Oh, there she is. I'm hoping I at least missed one. I mean, even though, no, I'm not, I mean, not hoping, but I, I just find it surprising that I didn't miss one. It's got to be one. Amber Moon? Come on, I missed her, right? Nope, she's there too. Dang it. Sherry Van. There's Sherry Van. Sean. I put Sean Schwinn. There's Sean. Rome, Rome Lou, <laughs> Rome Lewandowski. There she is. There's two more. Miss Patty Ann. There's Patty Ann. And Miss Crystal Corzep. Right there. Okay, we got everybody. Shocking. All right, so we're just going to cut. Not that one because that one I wrote down twice by accident. Um, that's why I crossed it out. Same with the other one. I wrote that one down as well, twice. See? <laughs> Cutting the cattywampus story in my life. Cattywampus.
Oh, so it's Naylor. Naylor. Just like Taylor, but with an A. So I think I said it right the first time. Two more. Okay. Now we're going to fold these in threes. They're so big. Not that that's really going to matter. But whatever. And now this will be just for a little prize pack. Nothing crazy spectacular like, you know, a journal or anything. But just a little... It's not very much, so don't get too excited. It's just a little envelope with some goodies in it. Might have some graphics in it, maybe a couple die cuts, um, etc., etc., etc. Maybe a postcard, ATC, or something like of that nature. And give me time to get them out because sometimes it takes me a little bit. You know, it might take me up to a month to get it actually in the mail <laughs> did I get Cheryl who which Cheryl Cheryl Johnson I didn't get yours you did yours before midnight last week do me a favor find yours so I can see it real quick and tag me in it do you know how to I could search for you you know how to search for your post. If ever I if ever I don't um, by you know after a day or two you don't see that I've put a heart on yours, make sure you let me know with a message saying you haven't seen mine yet. Because every time I see one, I put a heart, and usually I'll comment on it. Um, but I'll at least put a heart saying I saw it. So if I didn't see it, then message me. But I'll go look to see. That's what I'm going to do right now is go look as soon as I finish folding these up and sticking them in a bowl. As long as it's done by midnight on that day, then you're good to go. But I'll go find it because I should be able to look it up really quick. I found it. 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 Okay, gotcha. I'm going to write you down. See? That's all you needed to do. Just yell at me a minute. But yeah, if, if ever I don't see um, one of your... I'll put it on the back of the, one of these that I scribbled on. Um, if, if ever you don't see... After a day or two, you know, give me at least 48 hours um, that I haven't either liked or hearted or, you know, seen your post of your mixed media mashup. Just message me and say, did you see mine? Because, you know, don't message me the day after. Just give it a day or two because you have a whole week. Um, I mean, you don't have a whole week to finish it. You only have till the next day. But I have a whole week to see it is what I'm saying. But if I don't see it after two days, message me and be like, bitch, did you see mine? Because I'm going to kind of hand maneuver these a little bit because they're a little bigger. So I want to make sure they get well mixed up. Yeah, and also make sure you tag me. Important that you tag me as well, which I think she did. I just didn't see it. All right, I'm picking, I'm picking, I'm picking. I got it. Shannon Naylor. I got your name right and everything. <laughs> Shannon Naylor. She wins. That's from week 53. All right, Miss Shannon. You are the winner. Congratulations. Congratulations. 
You're not bugging me. What are you talking about, Amber? I had you in this drawing. I also had you in the drawing for the immediate, for the journal. I got you. I found you. I got you. I seen you. Awesome. So yeah, this is my journal. I'm so excited about it. I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet. I might just tuck it away for a little bit and decide what I'm going to use it for. I keep using like these ratty notebooks and for like writing down my different ideas and my different things I need to do. I might use this for that because then I can put little, make myself cute little notebooks to go in it and use it for that. Put like a thing that says plans and ideas or something. Things that I need to get done or to do to do journal. I have a ton of these pads and I always end up writing things down on things like this. All right, well, I'm going to get off of here and then I'm going to restart. Um, I'm gonna restart the live stream for a little while and work on some of the things that I, that I um, cut with the Cricut um and put them together because i kind of cut them but didn't finish putting together the things i cut out some mermaids i cut out some dream catchers uh, i cut out some goddesses yes shannon make sure you pm me saying that you won week 53 drawing and give me your address so that my brain remembers even though i wrote it down a little extra help. I need everybody to be my assistant when they, when it comes to stuff like that so that my stupid brain remembers. I need to remember. But I'm going to restart the stream. I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to make some popcorn and I'll restart the stream. So I'll be back on between now and the next 20 minutes or so. So I'll be back. Have a good night, everybody, and don't forget, um, you have 24 hours, um, well, you have until midnight tomorrow to finish it to be in next week's drawing, and uh, yeah, give me a thumbs up if you haven't already, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you next week for Mixed Media Mashup, and hopefully I'll see you in about 20 minutes. Poodle Pack out! Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy.